Deck building games have seen a rise in popularity due to fun and engaging mechanics which force the player to draft and create their own deck of cards to complete levels. Combining this with another genre like RPGs is a lofty task, but some developers have managed to create amazing titles that perfectly blend these two concepts together into one cohesive and highly enjoyable game, keeping players locked in with both clever and fast-paced gameplay and an interesting narrative. But without further intro, here are the top seven deck building RPGs. Number seven, Marvel's Midnight Suns. Superhero games typically revolve around players using their favorite spandex wearing vigilantes to defeat bad guys in traditional beat em up fashion. But Marvel's Midnight Suns bucks this trend by placing Marvel's iconic heroes into a turn based deck building tactical role playing strategy game. Players can command a team of three to four heroes that possess their own deck of powerful attacks and spells. However, attack and spell cards are limited, so players need to strategize accordingly to maximize their impact during encounters. Apart from gameplay, players can also befriend heroes with their hunter avatar as they endeavor to defeat Lilith and her nefarious plans. Number 6, Griftlands. Griftlands mixes deck building and RPG mechanics by having players choose from a number of characters and having two starting decks, one that they use for combat and one for conversations, acquiring quests and negotiation. Players venture into a overworld map and each area they land on will result in an encounter. Encounters can vary between conventional combat where the players rely on their decks to defeat enemies or conversations with the game's wide assortment of characters. For conversations, players need to use their conversation deck which allows them to steer the conversation towards civility or towards a fight, depending on how they want to play their cards. Uh, it's funny because it's about deck building. Number 5, Astraea Six-Sided Oracles, which is a fun deck building RPG that utilizes dice instead of traditional cards. Players choose among six playable characters who possess different abilities and innate skills called virtues. Each ability is reflected in different dice which players draw along with enemies during combat, and each side of said dice has a corresponding effect on offense and defense between players and opponents. Each of the playable characters represents six different races located across various planets, as they are tasked with combating the creeping corruption caused by the Crimson Dawn Cataclysm. Number 4, Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales, which takes place a number of years before the events of the Witcher games, as players control Queen Meave, ruler of Lear and Rivia, who is massing forces to retake northern territories. Is it a war on? <laughs> She must decide which factions she will align with or vanquish en route to her goal. For fans of the Witcher franchise, this game showcases other regions that weren't explored before, such as Rivia, Geralt's homeland, Lyria, Angren, Mahakam, and Lower Adern. Gameplay-wise, Thronebreaker's general mechanics play similar to Gwent, as players need to get a higher value total to win the best of three series by playing cards on the board. Cards played in each round are discarded, and players have to draw a new hand to begin the next round. Additional gameplay play includes varying levels of puzzle solving sections that reward the player with tasty loot. Number 3, Inscription. For players looking for a spooky deck building RPG, Inscription provides that unnerving experience as players engage in various matches with an assortment of eccentric and creepy opponents who are all masks of one mysterious stranger. The game's deck building mechanics revolve around playing cards that can strike their opponent to tip the weighing scale in the favor of the winner with a difference of 5 teeth in the scale required to win matches. Each card has its own abilities and skills that players need to become familiar with in order to outplay their opponents. Its dark and cryptic story led to the game being lauded by many as one of the more intriguing and unique deck building RPGs upon its release. Number 2, Monster Train. Monster Train's story premise is a simple one. Players command a band of demons and they are tasked with reigniting the fires of hell. The flame required to relight the fire is aboard a train that is on its way to hell, but angels are pulling out all the stops to prevent the train from reaching its final destination. Monster Train combines roguelike and deck building elements by having players summon demons to push the invading angels and their cohorts away from the train and the pyre. Each card and deck have unique combos that aid the players in dispatching enemies. Number 1. Slay the Spire Widely considered by many as the best deck building RPG, Slay the Spire has a simple premise of a hero whose mission is to ascend a spire that has multiple floors filled with enemies who need to be vanquished. Players start with a deck, and upon defeating enemies they can add more cards to further customize it according to their preferred playstyle. 
The higher the player climbs, the tougher the enemies. Many bosses and elite enemies become more common on higher floors, and ultimately their quest concludes with a battle against a powerful boss at the top of the spire. Players have to strategize and try to defeat early level enemies as efficiently as possible to ensure that they have the resources needed when facing these stronger opponents. That was our list for the seven best deck building RPGs, and we really hope you enjoyed it. All right, bye bye